On November 7, 2024, Lockheed Martin, in partnership with the U.S. Navy and General Atomics, achieved a historic milestone in uncrewed aviation. The first live flight of an uncrewed air vehicle, or UAV, was successfully controlled using the Uncrewed Mission Control Station, or UMCS. This breakthrough, powered by Lockheed Martin's MDCX autonomy platform, is a significant step towards integrating autonomous systems into naval operations and shaping the future of autonomous warfare. The origins of this project trace back to the early 2010s, when the U.S. military began focusing on developing autonomous combat systems to reduce risks to personnel and improve operational efficiency. By 2014, the Department of Defense had launched the Advanced Autonomy Initiative, aimed at integrating uncrewed systems into military operations. In 2016, the U.S. Navy started researching a common control station for uncrewed aerial systems, capable of controlling various UAVs from both land bases and naval vessels. Lockheed Martin joined the initiative in 2019, developing the MDCX platform and collaborating with General Atomics to ensure interoperability under the Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program. The live flight demonstration took place at Patuxent River, Maryland, where Navy air vehicle pilots successfully controlled the GAMQ-20 Avenger UAV located in California. This flight, conducted using UMCS, demonstrated how crewed and uncrewed systems can collaborate in future naval operations. UMCS, combined with the MDCX platform, offers advanced capabilities for operating UAVs beyond the line of sight, enhancing autonomy and responsiveness in complex missions. The system allows real-time control and coordination of multiple UAVs and third-party systems. The MQ-20 Avenger, equipped with advanced sensors and flexible payloads, is designed for a variety of tasks, including reconnaissance and tactical support. The demonstration illustrated how these systems could be used in practice. For instance, if a U.S. aircraft carrier were tasked with surveillance in a sensitive area, operators could remotely program the MQ-20 to fly over the region and collect intelligence. If a target of interest is detected, operators can modify the UAV's mission in real-time, adjusting its trajectory and sensor settings. The UAV's autonomy allows it to avoid threats and adjust its position automatically, transmitting collected data back to operators once the mission is complete. Lockheed Martin's role in integrating the MQ-20's autonomy with UMCS has brought the U.S. Navy closer to its vision of the carrier air wing of the future. This demonstration showcases the importance of interoperability between platforms and the role of advanced autonomy in naval aviation. JSI's president, David R. Alexander, emphasized that the success of this test reflects the readiness of autonomous systems to operate beyond line of sight, advancing naval aviation to new heights. Lieutenant Stephen Wilster, a UAV pilot, described the demonstration as a crucial step in integrating uncrewed systems into military forces to counter future threats. Moving forward, the U.S. Navy, alongside the U.S. Air Force and Marine Corps, is working on a tri-service memorandum of understanding to further develop interoperable control systems for the collaborative combat aircraft platforms. This will allow for a unified control architecture, ensuring seamless integration between crewed and uncrewed assets in future missions. This groundbreaking demonstration of UMCS controlling the GAMQ-20 UAV is a monumental step in the evolution of autonomous naval aviation, paving the way for more efficient, safer, and more effective military operations. With continued development, these systems promise to reshape the future of naval warfare.